All right, guys, welcome back to another day with working on this Norton Commando. But first, before you do anything, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That helps me out. Like, subscribe, or go to motohomeless.com, get you a t shirt, long sleeve shirt, hoodie, something like that. All that stuff helps me out. So, the first thing I did well, as I went ahead and ordered new brakes for the front wheel here, and I've got new brake shoes for the rear as well. I'm doing all this work. Let's go ahead and put new brake shoes on here and make sure they're good. So I've already got the front ones on. I just have to mount the front wheel back on, and then we will get onto the rear wheel. So let's let's go. All right, so as you can see, I have brand new shoes here on the front. I am overly paranoid about these becoming separated on old bikes and just lodging in and throwing me for a loop. So let's just go ahead and replace them. All right guys, so in the last video on these wheels, I was talking about replacing this because this is chewed up. So I've got a new one here. I've got new grommets and new screws to go on here. So I guess I get to take all these little tiny screws out first. All right, there you go. So you kind of see here on camera a little bit, but it's chewed up pretty bad. So now I've got a nice new one to go on. It'll go just like that. I've got new screws here. All right, now that we have the screws on there, all six screws, got brand new rubber grommets. It's interesting, these are gray. The ones that came off were black. I'm not sure what is standard. All right, that is together now. Now I need to replace the drum, the shoes on this drum right here, so we'll do that next. All right guys, so here are my old brake shoes. They have plenty of life left in them, but like I said, I'm kind of paranoid about them becoming delaminated, but they are riveted together, so they should hold, but I'd rather just go ahead and have something new for that extra peace of mind. So these are brand new brake shoes here. They came with new springs. So now I gotta get to work to get these assembled and get these ready to go on the rear wheel. So here we go. So the first thing is I'm going to take this piece off here. And as you can see behind me, I've actually got an exploded diagram so I know how all this goes together because I really don't know. All right, so we're gonna get our springs on here. All right, so we have our new one. We are starting to assemble here. We got the springs on there. We got the little cam down here. And let's just continue on following this diagram. All right, we got our new, or well, this is our old plate. It's powder coated, looks nice. So I need to take, let's see, I'm going to orient this like this, stick this through here. Like that. It looks like this can code two ways there's a lip right there so I'm not entirely sure which way it's supposed to go it's hard to tell in the diagram it's interesting the threads on my brand new piece here they're just not good this nut doesn't want to screw on them but on my old one old one it screws on fine so I think I'm gonna reuse my old one because these threads make me a lot happier I'm threading this on here by hand right now there we go I just need to tighten this down. All right, so I consulted the Norman White book and this lip right here goes on the outside here. So we're going to tighten this down. All right, so now that we've got this plate ready here, and we've got our shoes here. So we're going to put all this together. Then we're going to locate these through our shoes some muscles here all right so it's not fitting over this tab here this bit 
due to the powder coat so I need to see if I can't sand or file this down or chip it away all right so I've removed the powder coat from here so let's see if we can't get our brake shoes on in position Use some muscle okay and our brake shoes are on so now I should have two of these screws so I might have to try to find the other one and then we got these tabs here that are going to retain all this in place so this tab is going to get one here first and this locking tab put our first screw in so as you can see it will look like this and I just got to get that other screw hopefully I have it sitting around somewhere all right I got lucky and I had an extra one that I had ordered so now I just got to tighten these down and I got to bend these locking tabs in place that way these screws don't ever come out because that would be bad news okay so now I've got see if we can't focus here the tab on everything folded in place to help keep these bolts in place so now we are getting somewhere all right so what I forgot to do before I put the shoes on was lightly grease these pivots so I had to go back and do that now I get to redo all my work again all right we have them back into place Time to redo everything again. All right, now we have our locking tabs in place. This is all together. All right, time for the next bit. All right, so I believe I've got this assembled correctly. I put some grease on this cam before I put this piece on here. So that goes into place. Got my brake lever here. And now this goes on to the wheel. All right guys, well that's gonna end it on today's video. I will be mounting the rear wheel on here in the next video. That's gonna be a bit of a massive hassle, so I wasn't able to get that done tonight. So in order to get this video out for you guys, so I will finish that out on the next one. So thanks for watching. Make sure you go to motohomeless.com. Get yourself a t-shirt, hoodie, long sleeve shirt, something like that. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as well. Thank you, have a good day.